Hello there and thanks for joining me. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the OmniCharge, which is a battery bank. I want to know, can it power my Cintiq Companion 2? Let's find out. The OmniCharge is a portable battery bank and it can charge and power almost anything from laptops to phones to tablets, cameras, camcorders, GoPros, projectors, drones, TVs, and lots of other things. But what I'd really like to know is can it power a Wacom Cintiq Companion, a Microsoft Surface Pro, or an iPad Pro? We'll get to that, but first let's take a look at the device itself. So I came across this device because I saw an ad for their successful Indiegogo campaign, which was already fully funded. And this looked like exactly what I need when I do outdoor paintings on my Cintiq Companion 2, which only has a battery life of about three or four hours before it needs to be charged again. So I reached out to OmniCharge and I requested a unit to review, and they sent me one. So this will be an honest review of a product that I believe is perfect for digital artists. It's not a sponsored video in that I was not paid by OmniCharge to make this video. So now that we got that out of the way, most other power banks don't charge AC DC powered devices like laptops and TVs. The ones that do are heavy and some are even the size of a small car battery. The OmniCharge however is small, flat, rugged, and not very heavy. The Omni 13 is only 0.83 pounds and the Omni 20 is 1.3 pounds. So you probably won't even notice it if you put it in your backpack or carry it around with you. The unit can be charged using a range of device chargers, like your laptop or even a portable solar panel. It comes with a ton of plug adapters to suit almost any type of device. The OmniCharge is unique in that it's a smart device that detects and optimizes voltage for each device that you plug into it. It can detect different kinds of problems and it protects your devices from unsafe charging and overcharging. The smart display shows your remaining battery life and lots of other useful data about charging. When you're charging devices, the charging is optimized. It can power devices while charging the power bank. At this point, there's two different models. There's the Omni 13 and the Omni 20. I have the Omni 20. It features two USB ports, one of which is a high-speed USB port. It also has one AC-DC, which is that familiar three-prong plug. It also has QI wireless charging, and it can power up to a 100-watt device. So my Cintiq Companion is just under 100 watts. There's the Omni 13, which is slightly less powerful. It still has two USB ports and one AC-DC outlet, but it only powers up to a 65-watt device. So you'll definitely want the 20 if you want to be able to charge a laptop. The device automatically saves power during standby mode, so it doesn't drain the battery unnecessarily. The batteries that it uses are internal lithium-ion batteries. So those are the overall specs. Now let's take a look at some real-world charging. I'm going to plug in a few different devices here and let's see how it works. I'll plug in my phone and it charges my phone. I can plug in my GoPro and it charges my GoPro. And let's try plugging in the Cintiq Companion 2 and it charges the Cintiq Companion 2. It will also power and charge it at the same time. So I can keep sucking the juice out of the OmniCharge until the OmniCharge drains and then it'll go back to using its regular internal battery. As you can see, I can plug in all three of these devices at the same time and it will charge all three of them. And now here's the test that everyone's been waiting for. Can it actually power a TV? I'm going to plug in my 50 inch Samsung LED TV. And what do you know? It powers my TV. So that's pretty awesome. I'm sure if it can power the TV, it can probably also power a large Cintiq like the Cintiq 27. It's definitely not going to power a desktop computer though, because a desktop computer uses a lot more wattage. So as far as battery life, I'm currently testing it with the Cintiq Companion, but according to OmniCharge, it can power laptops for up to 13 hours, depending on the laptop. You can charge a DSLR camera four to six charges. You can power a digital projector up to three to five hours. You can power a TV for up to three hours. Smartphones, you can charge up to nine times. Tablets, you can charge up to eight times. Portable speakers, you can charge up to three times. And action cameras like the GoPro, you can charge up to eight times. But again, as I mentioned earlier, you can also power a lot of different things like a lamp or a fan or pretty much anything that you can plug into an AC-DC outlet or a USB charger. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the pros and cons of this device. Let's start with the pros. First of all, it does live up to the hype as far as charging and powering nearly anything. It does charge and power my Cintiq Companion 2, and depending on the settings that I choose, whether or not I choose high performance or power saving, and depending on the screen brightness that I choose, I'm getting between three and six hours of additional battery life. So that gives me a total of up to about 10.5 hours of maximum time before I have to plug my Cintiq Companion 2 into a wall to charge it. 
So that is awesome. One of the things I'm excited to try is plugging in a solar panel, because theoretically while I'm painting outdoors, I can charge and power my Cintiq Companion 2, and charge the battery bank at the same time. I plan to order a solar panel this summer and try it out, and I'll follow up with another video about that. Now let's talk about the cons. First of all, I know I always say this about things, but it's not waterproof, and I know a lot of electronics are not waterproof, but for me, I would be using this while going out to you know scenic locations, places where it might rain or it might be wet, and it would be really nice if this were a waterproof device. The Cintiq Companion 2 isn't waterproof either, so you know obviously this is kind of a not necessarily a fair con, but it's a feature that I'd like to see. The next con I already kind of mentioned, it does not add 13 hours to the Cintiq Companion, but I'm sure it does to other laptops. But nevertheless, it does nearly double the amount of time I can use my Cintiq Companion 2 without having to plug it into the wall and charge it. And finally, the last con is there's a limited one-year shelf life of the internal batteries. The life cycles are limited to 500 charges until the capacity is reduced to 70%, which basically means that this device is not going to last forever. However, OmniCharge does offer a subscription to swap out the batteries every year or so to keep the device working optimally. So overall, I'm very happy with this device. It does power my Cintiq Companion 2. Doesn't quite add as much power as I'd hoped, but the idea of being able to plug this into a solar panel and charge my Cintiq Companion outside and extend the battery life is definitely a plus. So definitely pick this up if you're a digital artist who paints outside the studio. It works great for the Cintiq Companion, the Microsoft Surface Pro, and the iPad Pro, as well as lots of other tablets and laptops. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more reviews of digital art products like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.